It's only a certain level of half ass that I'm allowed to use. something like that if you can see that time so it's not too 12 in the morning um, I'm waiting for Nathan Mercado from Merck Racing and uh, the reason the car is like this we're gonna be upgrading the after cooler um, kit so I purchased a um, a bigger radiator basically for the the after cooler and a bigger pump to flow more water flow water faster for track day or for everyday use really we just we want to get some data on like how good is the recovery when you upgrade to the bigger um, radiator so if you look at the car the way it is now I'll show you here this may be part of a DIY here I'm not sure just too tired to focus on anything so the bumpers off if you look at these brackets here um, these are the brackets that hold the after cooler um, radiator or heat exchanger really but it's the same thing let me shed some light in here This is actually the heat exchanger itself. Um, this line feeds to or from the heat exchanger inside the, uh, this line here, heat exchanger inside the intake manifold, and the pump basically circulates water through the system. It's a pretty clean setup. I mean, this is, this is really clean. You would even think it's OEM. Um, but yeah, this, this, this here is gonna be upgraded to something that pokes out of the top. So it'll be almost double the size. Um, and that should help with recovery when the car gets really, really hot. Um, I'll check back in with you guys later. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a quick DIY video with Nathan. Um, Jose couldn't make it. He's got too many customers to keep happy. Um, but also his his uh, foot, I guess, is all jammed up or whatever. Um, so he won't be here. But we'll still have a good time. See, this bracket here holds your heat exchanger. So you got to take off these two Allen bolts along with the, these two. And there's two identical um, brackets underneath the radiator or heat exchanger. And that's basically how it's done. There we go. In order to make room for these... Uh, so what Merck Racing did, in order to make room for this hose, they drilled a few holes in here um, just to um, maintain this plastic piece here, which this serves a purpose. This keeps all the air, um, the hot air traveling in, tunneled to cool you know, the uh, heat exchanger, uh, which is an OEM actual radiator for the car. All right, I'm going to keep on wrenching, and I'll see you guys in a bit. This product is not exactly something that has been sort of um, tested all that much on the Hondas. There isn't a bracket like on the stock kit that comes with the uh, after cooler kit for Merc Racing. So the heat exchanger will be mounted to the bumper using these self-tapping screws. Um, and I went with these techs from Home Depot. They're one and a half inch. They've got this little rubber here. I, I think that'll be good for um, noise reduction and just like, just grip in general. And these are also weatherproof. So this is used for roofing, for decking, whatever. Um, heavy duty stuff. So um, we're just making sure we can see the mark on both sides because uh, we're putting the heat exchanger in from the back end and the mark was up in the front. It's hard to see with the camera, but 
we just want to make sure um, we got it all done pri properly. It's only a certain level of half ass that I'm allowed to use. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to a racetrack or anything yeah. where things get a little... It's not like you're pushing the limit of the car or anything. No, or, yeah. <laughs> we're Basically an A. Yeah. It's like a little tip above 200 horsepower. So the rain stopped for a little bit, but um, it may Let's come back. See, see, there's some raindrops. So you got to get her done, Nathan. Yeah. You got it, boss. So did you really want to do three, or you just want to do two? Let's do three. Three. All right. So because. I'm thinking here, here, and here. This way. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pre-drill at least a spot because. Textures have a tendency to like want to walk. Yep. And we and we did mark these holes first um, with some with some sharpie, but again, you wouldn't be able to see that because sharpie's black, and I'm not a good photographer. Okay, so. Uh, we got the bottom hose going into the heat exchanger already, but the top hose, we're going to need a little extension or something. So this is the old um, bottom hose. We took this um, hard 90 degree off of it because that's basically where the old old one went. Somewhere right, I think right there. Yep, yeah. it went right there. Um, so now we got to go into the same port but it's gonna go up into here and match up with this guy here. All right, so stay tuned for more. So we ended up going to Advanced Auto Parts and we found just a bunch of bunch of stuff. I just, you know, I bought this like hang it all kit. I think it's part number, I don't know. 17146. It's basically a kind of like a leather belt. Here we go. A leather belt and then you strap it onto this bracket and then it comes with another bracket somewhere else but what we did was we got a a clamp it's like a normal like, like a, clamp. a normal t-bolt clamp that you might use for like your intake or whatever um, and this just goes underneath it fits like a glove and um, so now we're gonna mount it somewhere down here there's a there's a 12 millimeter bolt if you look under here somewhere, light, the lighting sucks, but just trust me, there's a 12 millimeter bolt. It's holding the bottom of the battery tray. Yeah, it's holding the bottom of the battery tray, and that's what it's going into. So we're going to do that now, later. All right, guys, so... I finished with the brakes. Um, I'm gonna do a follow-up on the brake pads themselves. Uh, there's some stuff I saw in there that I didn't like. Um, right now, we're, we're basically done. Um, we are massaging these hoses and making sure all of the air is out of the system before we turn um, anything on. So as you can see here, I just fill it up. And this is just like, uh, taking the air out of your radiator for your car, for your engine. Um, so it's, if you've done that kind of stuff, it's really no different. Uh, massaging the hoses does help. This um, heat exchanger comes with a neat little bubbler here. So it looks like we, we're out of bubbles almost on that. Oh, no, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. All right. So pretty soon we're going to start it up and see what uh, what we get. <laughs> 